Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy. In the past, I've shown you an awful lot of custom ROMs. ROMs that aren't distributed by the big name brand manufacturers, HTC, Samsung, and the like. Well, my favorite one has been Cyanogen Mod. Today, I want to show you AOKP, and it's full of pink unicorns. Let's go take a look. This is my Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the GSM variety. Now I'm going to shoot two videos for you here. One that is just kind of a, an overview of a couple, and when I say a couple, I mean just one or two really cool features of AOKP Build 31. And then another one that's really in depth, but I gotta warn you, it's long. It covers everything that I could find, but it's, it, it's a watch. So if you want really in-depth detail after this video, I'll have a link at the end so you can watch that full length video and see all the details in it. But I want to show you just the, uh, the highlights. So what you'll see here, just your traditional home screen with your traditional buttons down in the navigation bar. But watch what we can do here. Let's go into settings and into ROM control and navigation bar. Now, from there, what I want to do is change the navigation button quantity, and let's bump that up to five. You'll notice down here that it automatically refreshed. So we've got now the stock three and then two more that, yes, they are unicorns. We can change that though, so let's go ahead and do that. Down here in our navigation bar buttons, we have one, two, three, four, five. In fact, we have 10 because we not only have the buttons, but we also have the long press action for those buttons. So you can have these things do 10 things if you want to. You can set up the, uh, the action, you can set up the icon. So let's go ahead and uh, oh, let's change this tasks in position three to home. So we're just gonna change that to home. Quick and easy. Let's change position two to be back and let's change position th four rather to be or is it recents is what they call the, the task manager so now we've got our three icons there nice and centered but we've got a couple others that we can do what can we do with those okay check this out first of all if you want to change the icon you can you tap over here and it will actually take you to uh, a picker an image picker you essentially pick a whether it's a JPEG, a ping, whatever, from your gallery and put it in here. You even have the option to crop it to make it fit the way that you want it to. Now, I don't have any of those. I assume that you could go out and get an, like an icon pack and just put a folder in there that you could choose from. But if you tap over on the left side, that's where you can assign the, the uh, action itself. So again, right side, icon, left side, action. Just like it says here, action and icon. So let's change one and see what we can do. Well, I use my phone to make phone calls, so let's put a phone dialer down there. What do you say? Well, to do that, we're going to go to a custom app and then an application. And from here, we are going to go to phone. And there's my phone icon. You can see that showed up down here. Well, another thing that I do with my phone a lot is I look for contacts. I look up my people. So for that, let's come down here to uh, button one, long press action again custom app applications and we're going to come down here to people now you noticed in that other list there were some other things like contact and direct dial if there's someone that you call all the time a significant other a spouse a parent whatever you can do that and just set it so you can long press on that and it will say automatically call that person um, that has pocket dial written all over it for me so that's why I'm not doing it let's go ahead and do another and then I'll show you kind of how these work I also do email a lot, so let's do a custom app over here. Again, applications, and there's my Gmail. But I also use this for the web a lot, so let's go back and set up a browser. So now if I long press, there's my browser. If I single press, there's my Gmail, which I haven't set up on this ROM yet. No problems there. Go back home. If I want to call somebody, there's my dialer. And if I want to go to my contacts, there you go. I don't have this uh, 
set up obviously, but there's my contacts. So very, very cool, awesome what you can do with it. If we come in here and take a look, there are just tons and tons and tons of things that you can do. Uh, the other cool thing that I wanna show you in this video, and we'll save all the more in-depth stuff for the next video, check that out. All of your toggles are up here. You can add to these toggles, you can rearrange them, you can, uh, just all kinds of stuff. You can even change the style. If you don't like the toggle and you want more of the power control button, you can do that too. One thing that I don't like about this, if you tap on the settings button, it just hides those toggles. It doesn't take you to settings. If you tap it again, it brings them back. I'd still like that to take you right into your settings. But hey, I'm not gonna complain about that. So very cool, again, the ROM's name is AOKP, that's the Android Open Kang Project. Uh, say that again for you, the Android Open Kang Project. It is based on AOSP, it is available for free and we will have a link where you can get this. Like I said, this is build number 31 and uh, we'll put that over in the article at pocketnow.com. For the full length version of the video, including all the detail, and when I say all, I mean lots and lots of detail, go ahead and click on the link at the end of the video. If you like seeing custom ROMs, give the video a thumbs up. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.